All right, so this is some stuff that uh, came out of my own head, out of my own brain. So I don't know if it's gonna appeal to a whole lot of people. So therefore, there's also uh, footage of a video game that I defeated running that you can watch and listen to if you prefer. Okay, this one is called Speev Chapter One. Speev was nine years old, but he was almost ten. He looked forward to turning ten on his birthday next month. For one thing, ten was two numbers, and nine was just the one. So that would make being 10 twice as good as being 9, wouldn't it? Not only that, but 10 was a more important number. The top 10. The 10 most wanted. The 10 commandments. No one ever used a top 9 list, did they? Heck no. 9 was just a stepping stone on the path to 10. That's how Speeb saw things, and his mind was made up. Ten would be better than nine. It had to be. For Speeb, nine had been a really rough year. Life was about to change for young Speeb. Not as he might have hoped or even liked, but change was on the horizon. Speeb didn't like his name very much. He thought it was a strange name. His folks told him that they couldn't decide between Peter and Stephen, so they combined them into Speeb, and they liked the sound of it. That way, he could be named after both his grandfather Pete and his grandfather Steve at the same time. Speeb thought his folks were pretty weird, and he spent as much time as he could away from home. He didn't dislike his folks, he just didn't get them. The thing Speeb loved most in life, so far, was exploring. Today, he was exploring in a field behind his parents' backyard fence. It was one of his favorite places to go. The field began behind the wooden fence as tall yellow grass, but it had, but it, the, the field, the, the field began behind the wooden fence as tall yellow grass, but it had groups of trees further south. Speeve had a small camp set up within the closest group of trees. The camp was little more and two old deck chairs that Speed had pulled out of a dumpster, and a little rusted charcoal grill that he used to make fire in. It was currently full of ashes. Beyond that, taller trees surrounded a winding creek. The banks of the creek were steep and up to 12 feet high in places, but the water at the creek bottom was usually only about ankle deep. Speeb stood at the water's edge and looked up. The woods looked menacing from the creek bottom. The banks rose high into the air, huge walls made of dirt. Tree roots crossed them. Tree roots... Tree roots crossed through them and jutted out everywhere. The trees that loomed above the banks were twisted and thick, and their crooked limbs stretched high above, shading the creek and casting shadows everywhere. Speev grinned as he eyed the scene above. He liked the spooky feeling that the creek gave off, but he was used to the creek, and he wasn't afraid. Someone was nearby. Alright, let's stop there.